In order to add new properties to my employee class, graphically, all you have to do is click this Add a new column button up here. Here are the data types that you can choose from. Basically, anything that is JSON encodable can be stored as a property. So let's choose a string and call it name. And also, let's add a number and call it age. Up here, you can see my name as a string and my age as a number. And every time you try to save a new object to this class, being it graphically or programmatically, Parse will already validate for us uh, the data insertion before actually doing so. So, for instance, if I try to add a new row from here and type my name, so Alex and my age, 40, it will allow me to save. But if I try to add a new record and type Alison, and on the age, it's expecting a number. So if I try to write some letters in here, it won't allow me to, to type because it's expecting a number. So it will get my database sanitized from the very, very beginning. If you try to save an object here programmatically, it will as well validate the formats of the data before saving and report errors back in case you try to save, save a string instead of a number. So Alison is 41 and now it will allow me to save it. In back 4 app we use MongoDB as our main database. We do support other databases as well, such as PostgreSQL, but the main database is uh, MongoDB, which is a non-SQL database. But through Parse, we can get relational behavior even though we're using a non-SQL database. In order to illustrate that, I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to call this class dog. And by, con by convention, we always name our classes with a uppercase first uh, character. So here's my dog class, and I'm going to add a column here, and it will be a string, and the, it will contain the dog name, so name. When I click at the row, I can add a few dogs in here. So dog1 and dog2. Now, if you remember, I told that object ID is unique per object inside the database. So you can use kind of a primary key. So you can use this information to relate data. So back to my employee class, I'm going to set which employee has dogs. In order to do that, I'm going to add a new column, choose the data type pointer. Pointer is how you relate a one-to-one -one, uh, relation between two classes. It will ask me for a target class where I'm going to choose dog and give it a good name. So has this dog. And by convention for uh, properties, it starts with a lowercase character. So my has this dog pointer showed up here, pointing to the dog class. So if I go back to the dog class, copy this object ID and paste it here, do the same for the other one, This data is now related. As you can see here, the object ID of the dogs show up here, and this data type is slightly different from these ones because this is also a button. Right now I'm in the employee class, but if I want to know which dog Allison has, all I have to do is click this button. It will bring me to the dog class, telling me that Allison has the dog number two, and Alex has the dog number one. So this data is now related and you can query on it from now on. We do support all the kinds of data relations, so one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many, you name it, you got, we got you covered.